lot more that needs to be known, and it's very, very frustrating that we're getting we're getting down to the wire. Uh, I feel like we're in an IndyCar bubble now. I never would have thought uh, a week ago that I would be sitting here waxing poetic about the Indy 500 and the Delara IR18 when we should be focusing on the Daytona 24 as sim racers on iRacing. But here we are about to run basically an Indy 500. I've, I know, Rob, you and I have signed up for the sim racers for mental health version that's going to be uh, next Friday, day before New Year's Eve. Uh, I mean, it's it's a fun thing to do at that time of a, of a kind of fun holiday. But, I mean, my God, we didn't think we'd be in this situation two days ago. This this really snuck up on us. Yeah. I, plus, it's just what else are you going to do? Like, get, your, get it in while you can, right? Like... Some sort of something it's, official, like if it's if something where we don't really know where we're going to get that next fix for it, then yeah, like it's my favorite car. Yeah, like it's not going. We don't think it's well, Adam. You you, I think you were being dramatic. You said get rid of the whole car. Get rid of the whole car. Why not? Why not oh, just get rid of it? Burn it to the not ground. Get rid of the car, but still, like it's. But do you it, want it? You want it to the be soul gone. out of it. <laughs> yeah, the soul's right? gone. Like it's just it's just being robbed of certain some <laughs> certain je ne sais quoi. <laughs> You can call me dramatic all you want, okay? But I'm telling you, I think that it would be better. Again, we were talking about how muddy the waters are right now. I think it would be better just to get rid of it. Give us our money back so we don't know what we can and can't do with the damn thing. It's just, it's it's so annoying and frustrating to me that, first of all, they drop this. Like they said, yeah, they've probably been in talks for a while, but they drop it on us. Two weeks, I mean, December 31st is the deadline. It came out on December 21st. That's 10 days. You're going to give leagues, broadcasters, everybody 10 days notice to change. What happens if you've got a league that starts on January 4th or something, and all of a sudden now they're scrambling, and nobody knows exactly what the deal is. So there needs to be some type of very clear and concise information that comes out sooner rather than later, because right now, nobody knows what's going on. And this directly impacts leagues that run Mm. uh, IndyCar and broadcasters that cover those goddamn leagues, and I'm part of that. So it's just... This This is Into the Apex Motorsport Podcast Podcast Network. Network.